Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for checking out another one of our videos. Guys, with Labradoodles and Golden Doodles becoming so popular, we are seeing more and more of them walking through the door. In this video, we're going to be featuring Chico and go over some of the challenges of grooming these huge breeds. As you can see right now, guys, I'm just comparing Chico's pads to my hands. I got little baby hands anyway, but he really does have really big pads. He is a giant golden doodle. Uh, Chico weighs, I would say, at least a good 90 pounds, and he just turned a year, so he still has a lot of growing to do. Um, as you can see, just the brush alone is just a lot of brushing. It's a, it's a small brush in comparison to the size of this dog. Uh, it's kind of like uh, scrubbing a gymnasium floor with a toothbrush, if you know what I mean. But um, these guys are definitely cute dogs, though, as you can see. And uh, we haven't met an aggressive one yet. They're really generally very, very friendly dogs and very smart dogs. They take to the groomings very, very easily, usually, and, and very quickly. They're, they're very adaptable. They table train well. Uh, we've been doing Chico, like, like I said, for about a year now, and he's an absolute angel. Just look at the size of this dog's head. Again, guys, I think one of the biggest challenges with grooming these big golden doodles and labradoodles is just their size. They are a very, very big dog. Uh, if you are in the market to uh, purchase and own one of these guys and size is a problem, you may want to opt for the mini doodles, which is the same dog, just a lot smaller. The mini doodles go around uh, 35, 40 pounds, and uh, you, you know you still have that that cute look and the hypoallergenic coat that everybody is uh, looking for uh, in the mini doodle. But again, uh, you know the golden doodles, labradoodles. We're just seeing so many of them walk through the door. Here I'm just letting Chico sit down for a good part of the grooming. I just, you know, don't want to uh, have him stand unnecessarily when he doesn't have to. Doing a little clipper work here, you can just see how long his his legs are. Uh, he just, he's again, he's just a really big dog, and they're a lot of work. Make no mistake, if you're going to get one of these guys, uh, get ready for grooming. Grooming is a big, big uh, thing that you have to think about when getting these guys. Um, you know, and they should be groomed at least once a month. Um, and uh, just, again, general maintenance at home, uh, you're gonna definitely need uh, some grooming tools. These guys require grooming at home, even in between professional groomings. Again, I'm just letting Chico sit down here, doing a little clipper work on him, uh, just doing his back so he doesn't have to stand. You know, here he's standing up again so uh, I can work uh, the parts of his body that I need for him to be standing on. Chico table trained almost instantly. We've been doing him since he was a puppy. Um, he was good on the table since day one. Again, these dogs are extremely smart dogs. You know, they're, they're a mix of, of two great breeds, poodles being one of your smarter breeds and your labs being also extremely smart and, and very friendly dogs. Chico has a thick coat and kind of struggling getting the snap-on comb through, but it is going through, and uh, this is just the prep. So after his uh, after his bath, his coat will be a lot cleaner, and uh, the snap-on comb will go through a lot better. The tools needed with a dog like this, you're definitely going to want a slicker brush. Uh, you are going to uh, probably need a good comb and um, definitely the brush is going to be your best friend with a breed like this. And as far as brushing is concerned, you should be brushing your Golden Doodle, your Labradoodle every day. And if you have a really, really big one like this, you may do it in parts. You might want to work on his front one day, his rear the next, and you know, focus on the head and ears on another day. Uh, they are just that much maintenance.
Again, just doing as much snap-on work as I could. Just, you know, getting underneath them here and working the inside of the legs. And uh, the one benefit of doing a, a large breed dog like this is that you can kind of work underneath them fairly easily as opposed to a small dog that's really uh, short and close to the table. It's hard to get the clippers down under there. I'm lifting his leg here. You know, over here, guys, you just want to be careful with the do a big dog like this on your grooming table. You don't want their foot too close to the edge, so I'm moving Chico's foot in over here. You don't want a big dog like this accidentally falling off your table, so just make sure that they're standing on the table uh, correctly. You know, also with these big guys, I, I'm, I'm trying to work as quickly as I can because the bigger the dog, the less their table time. So one of the, one of the challenges that groomers face is that we have really big dogs that are not able to stay on the grooming table as long as a, as a smaller dog only because of their size. So they tire quickly. So now you have a bigger job and you have to get it done even quicker. So I'm really just trying to get as much snap-on comb work done to uh, save his table time so he doesn't have to stand there for, for an extended period. Right here, just getting behind his neck. Again, Chico's just really thick. He's got that thick coat. Um, his owners are doing a great job keeping him brushed out, though, believe it or not. He has no knots. He's just really, really thick coated. But um, I, th his owners shocked me because uh, they do such a good job with uh, keeping Chico brushed out. They really do. For, it's for such a big dog. They're doing an, an amazing job. Just kind of getting under his eyes with a 10 blade. Give him a little kiss because he deserves it. He's such a sweet dog. We, we absolutely love Chico. You know, and the cut we're doing here is just uh, really a maintenance clip. We, we um, want to take him short enough where he doesn't have to worry about, uh, the owners don't have to worry about him getting groomed all that often um, where, you know, the haircut at least lasts a while. But they do come in regularly. They're, they're here, uh, I would say, at least every, uh, every five, six weeks with Chico. And he seems to enjoy it. He never minds being here. Again, these guys are so smart. They crate easily. Just taking his ears down a little bit, just an initial trim. As you can see, just Chico just lets me do everything. He, he's just such a good dog. Working on his pads here. Again, just the sheer size of this dog's paws. I mean, he just, he's, he's enormous. He's a, he's a really big guy, and he still has a lot of growing to do. Look at that pad. He has beautiful pads. He's a very healthy dog. Again, I do have the hands of a four-year-old, but again, his pads are just enormous. And there's Chico, the sweet angel that he is. We're talking to him here, and he's just listening to every word we're saying, and uh, we're getting ready for the tub now. Again, guys, this is just one of the things you're going to get with these breeds. They are angels. Uh, they're, they're gentle giants, most of them. And uh, as, as challenging as the groomings can be, uh, it, they really are worth it because you are going to get just such a sweet breed of dog. 
These, these dogs are so, so family oriented. Um, they just love affection. They're just so eager to please and, and be a good dog. And they're great with children. So again, we're, we're just showing you this video to show you that the grooming is probably, uh, you know, the only thing that could be a bit of a challenge because everything else is so good. They're so trainable and again, just great family dogs. <laughs> Chico's just handing Anthony his paw, just like, yeah, here, clean my leg. You can see the size of Chico here, just standing up in the tub, big guy big head and uh, he's really just you know he's his weight is perfect he's just a, a really tall golden doodle and again even with the bath it's a it's a lot to bathe you know it takes time and uh, you can see Anthony just kind of trying to soap him up and 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 get a good lather going on him all over um, big big jobs all the way around Again, you can work the underside a lot easier though with big dogs like this. It's another happy moment for Chico. He's all done with his bath. Chico's the type of dog that just walks right in and just lays on his back and just wants his belly rubbed every time we see this dog. He, this dog does not mind anything. Alrighty, so this is gonna be like one of the most time consuming parts of the grooming is the blow dry. Uh, these guys just do take a while to blow dry. And um, you know, he he's, has a lot of coat and uh, it, it, it takes some time. Guys, you have to really uh, be able to keep them up on the table long enough to get it all done. Um, and again, here's Chico, you know, he's, he's tiring a little bit. Yeah, we're doing our best to keep them comfortable and get through the grooming as quickly as possible so that we can just kind of get them back into the crate and he can relax and get back to his owners. So we're back on the finishing table now and just going to basically go over what we did with the prep. And again, those clippers now are just going to go through a lot easier with that clean coat. So yeah, we recommend a shorter clip with these guys. Uh, this way, you know, they just last longer. And uh, I think we're doing here a, I think we're doing a one and a half snap-on comb uh, on his body. I'm finishing his legs uh, with, I think, maybe a one and a half and skimming with a two snap-on comb. Um, so yeah, we're just giving him a, a, a general low maintenance haircut here just to save them some brushing and um, have the grooming last a little, long, a little longer so that he's not here, you know, every two weeks going over his pads. Even, even the fur and the pads is gonna come out a lot easier. Doing a little scissoring now on his feet. He's got those big feet, so again, the scissoring uh, it's just going to take a lot of time. And we're just seeing more and more of these guys walk through the door. They're a very, very popular breed right now. Again, just trimming down his legs and combing through them a little bit. Going over his bangs. And just Chico just stays so nicely. He's so good for the grooming.
In most cases, people aren't looking for that real poodly look on these guys. They really like the, the more uh, full faces and, uh, you know, the rounded head that kind of blends into the ears as opposed to that, that uh, top knot that you usually give a standard poodle. Most people are looking for this, although you can do that clip on these guys as well. Um, I generally do something more like this with a fuller face. It just seems to fit the breed a little bit better. These guys are also an extremely rugged breed of dog. Um, you know, they like to run, they like to play. Uh, they're not a fragile dog at all. They're, they're extremely powerful. Um, and, and again, just if you're looking for a dog that you want to have fun with, these guys are so durable. Uh, you could look forward to taking this guy on a nice long hike. They love to walk, they love people. Um, so again, just a very, very durable dog. You'll have a lot of fun with these guys. Just see how big Chico's ear flap is. He's got huge ears. Again, he's just so good. Stays so nicely. We started Chico early with the groomings though. That's the key uh, to being successful in grooming these guys because if you wait too long, uh, you, you will more than likely fall into uh, the, the trap of the, the dog is just too set in its ways and does not want any part of the grooming. And I've seen that happen. So uh, one of the keys to success in grooming these guys is definitely start them early, right around four months old get them in for their first initial grooming and uh, be consistent, just be consistent because these dogs will quickly get out of hand. They will mat up if you don't maintain them and you'll be forced to really shave them down because uh, they just do have that thick poodly coat. Okay guys, so that's gonna about do it for this grooming on Chico. Give it up for him. Guys, please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.